Hey there, buddy. Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. Today we're going to talk about uh, mission statements. What are they? Why they're good for you? And why it is actually a good thing to have one. Hey there everybody, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. My name is Brian and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. And we're taking, talking today about mission statements. What are mission statements and why are mission statements important for leaders just like you? Um, to start off with, what is a mission statement? A mission statement as a whole is a proclamation of your intentions with your values and beliefs mixed in. Why do you need a mission statement? Well, a mission statement is, um, if your core value, core values are, are guideposts along the way, like mile markers. All right, you know you're, you're on the path when you're between your core values. Well, the, the, uh, the mission statement is the road that you're running on, and you stay on that, on that mission statement to get to your goals. So if we were to look at everything, your goals are kind of like your map, Core values are like the ditches on a road, or the stri or the lanes. Um, uh, the, you know, your yellow and your 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 yellow center line and, and your fog line, the red and the white, the mayonnaise and the mustard. That that those are your core values. That keeps you in the in the lane that you want to be. Then the lane itself, uh, the road itself, is your uh, is your mission statement. How are you going to get from place A to place B? How are you actually going to get to um, get to your goal. Now you could have a straight line, but you're going to run across through buildings. You're going to cause a lot of damage. You're going to do a lot of harm uh, if you just drive, go from you know from Dallas to Minnesota without turning. If you just point yourself towards Minneapolis and you just you're going to take off. Well, there's a lot of problems you're going to run into there. Uh, you're going to get a lot more hang-ups, you're going to get uh, cause a lot more wrecks, you're going to uh, you might be going through someone's fence, you might hit uh, Farmer Brown's cattle sometime. There's a lot of problems that you're going to have just by beelining it, fly, going as, as the crow flies to, from Dallas to Minneapolis. So to, uh, to make sure that you are able to navigate your way to uh, Minneapolis, so to speak, um, you want to be able to stay on the road. You know where you're wanting to go. That's your goal. You know where you're starting. You know where you're going. You have the road, which is your mission statement. How are you going to get from there to there? And what are what are you going to represent? You want to make sure that you have your priorities in li in line. So what are your what are your priorities? How are you going to address the issues that come across uh, that you that you face? as you're doing your business or and or your life or as a family because you don't have to just have a mission statement for business you can have it for your personal life which is what I'm saying as a leader you want to have your own personal mission statement why do you want to do what you're going to be doing or want to do um, it's also recommended try having a mission statement where you have uh, for the whole family and but it's not just you don't sit down and go well this is our mission statement now you need to have your core values and then you incorporate the core values of the Mrs. and of the kid. So once you have your uh, your road laid out, your tr your means of traveling from to get to your goal is going to be a whole lot easier. It may be the long way around. It may not be the most direct route, but you're going to get it's going to get you to where you're wanting to go safer and with a lot more integrity than just you know running over anybody who happens to be in your way. What are examples of, of a mission statement? Google has the mission statement of, uh, to organize the world's information and make it accessible and usable. In a nutshell, precisely what Google does. If you were to st step back and think about it, you're like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's exactly what Google does. It takes all the information, all the web pages and all the videos and everything that's out there on the internet which is the greatest repository of all of man's knowledge ever to, uh, to be assembled and they organize it so that it is easy 
and accessible for you to find. They're, that is their mission. That is how they're getting from place A to place B. Now, I've got a mission statement also, but I'm, and I'm still working on it. So it's not quite, has been quite boiled down to the essence of to organize the world's information to make it accessible and usable. It is as follows, and I have to read it because to help people find their way and to achieve the personal freedom they desire. Uh, through compassion and humble joy, I can show people the life they desire can actually be achieved. By example, I can show people they can relegate worry and fear to a mere inconvenience that then propels them to success. For me, it's still real wordy. I could say I am wanting to make sure that leaders, be, uh, leaders realize that their life is great uh, or something like that. I, to help leaders achieve the, the life they want. Um, but something, you know, something like that. I could try that, but it's right now, it's not, it doesn't, it, there's elements in it for me that are still missing. Um, the wordiness that I have put in there right now is still the best uh, that I've been able to come to. Um, yeah, I keep trying to reduce it, and it has been reduced a word or two or swapped around. Um, some words have been taken out, you know, one or two words may be put back in. So it is always going to be a work in, in progress, and you should always review your mission statement. Does it still fit with what you're wanting to do? Because your desires, your wants, your needs for life are always going to change. And so if they're changing, then you want to make sure that you adjust that road adjust yourself so that your road uh, you're still on the right road so when it comes to your mission statement don't rush it that's the, that's the don't rush it because that's not the important part you don't have to have it made tomorrow um, sit down and write out your core values you know what your core values are first from there you can decide that you can incorporate those values into your mission statement so that you know that, hey, I, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to be able to get there. That's how I want to achieve. This is what I want to do. This is how I want to help people. This is your personal mission statement is all about you. How am I going to do this? How am I going to help leaders, uh, the men out there, become the naturally born leaders that they are destined to be? is the ultimate question I want to ask and I want to be able to, that I ask that I want to make sure that I have answered. So that is, uh, that's everything in a nutshell when it comes to, 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 to mission statements. You want to, you want to lay out what it is you want to do. How do you want to do that? Take the time of just laying everything out. Does it fit in with your core values? Does it fit with what you want to do? If it fits in with the values, fits in with what you want to do, fits in uh, with the objectives you want to have, then great, you are on, you're beginning to start making your uh, mission statement. If it doesn't seem to fit right, then you can adjust, make it different. Anyhow, before it starts to rain on my head, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let you go so that, uh, and uh, I want to thank you very much for listening and watching. If you like the video, please click a like, um, give me a good big old thumbs up, S click subscribe. I could really use some more subscribers and I know that you could, uh, you would be benefit from the information that I was to give to you. Not only do I go off and I do these different uh, diatribes for you, but I also have a tendency from time to time throwing a review up for the camping equipment love camping um, and that's one of the things about uh, getting people outdoors uh, uh, getting us our leaders outdoors getting them out in one with nature again helps out so much so anyhow i'm going to let you go thank you very much for watching uh, go to uh, relaxedmail.com for more information um, i got a lot of a lot of, uh, of uh, blog posts there more coming out each week um, and i will talk to you then all right so till then you take care. Bye.